All right, so Saturday Night Live star Lorraine Newman turning out to be a pretty key witness in this case. Let me bring back in our legal analyst guest. Still with me, criminal defense attorney Josh Schiffer and trial attorney Marie Napoli. So there was a little more um, from, from this witness uh, that was really helpful um, in explaining away some things. She addressed with, with the state why she was reluctant uh, to come forward the, with the information sooner. I want to play that clip and get your reactions to it now. Is it fair to say that between 2001, when you had that interview, the first one in 2015, that you became aware that you very likely had information that might be relevant to this case? At some point. Yeah. And is it fair to say that you were reluctant to come forward with that information? Yes. Can you tell us why? Because my memory of that time is so vivid, and because I feel tremendous shame that I did not appreciate the gravity of what she was telling me, how irresponsible I felt I'd been. And I want to ask you, when you say your memory, I just want to be clear, how certain are you of your memory that in fact Susan told you that she had uh, phoned in a false alibi for Robert Durst? I'm completely certain. And at any point in time, um, between 2001 and 2015, did you have any other reason that you were concerned about coming forward? Yes. And what was that? I became aware of um, other crimes that were allegedly attributed to Mr. Durst. Would that have been the Morris Black yes. killing? Yes. And you were aware in that case that there was a dismemberment involved, is that correct? Yes. And did that, how did that affect you, knowing that Mr. Durst had dismembered somebody and was uh, tried for murder? How did that affect your willingness to want to volunteer information that you had? It was motivating. It motivated you which way? Uh, well, I mean, it, it frightened me. But if you're saying, uh, if you're asking me whether the seriousness of that crime makes me more motivated to testify today, the answer is yes. At the time, the whole thing scared me. All right, Josh Schiffer, I want to go to you first on this one. Uh, what were your overall uh, impressions of Lorraine Newman's testimony, and do you think she moved the ball forward for the state? I, I think she moves the ball forward, but then also opens a bunch of doors for Dick DeGaron uh, to run more circles. She brings fame. She brings the legend of Hollywood. She brings extreme emotion, the regret and the guilt of ignoring something so important and then only coming forward when you find out that he was allegedly involved in a dismemberment. Oh, my God, it's awful. But is it reliable? Is it just more window dressing? Does it have anything to do with this case? Or is this something that the defense is going to take and continue their uh, their theme of this is a case within a case to eviscerate the state's defense and make the state appear like an over aggressive thug intent on crushing a man no matter how many times it takes. I hear you. Appreciate it. Marie, give us your take on Lorraine Newman's testimony, please. I thought she was amazing for the prosecution. Um, she was credible. She's well liked. Uh, she's a popular comedian. Um, everyone knows her, uh, and she's believable. So if I was the defendant, uh, I would, I, I would be uh, pretty upset with her testimony. Um, uh, I just think the jury's going to eat her up and and love her and listen to her and believe her. And you know, any of us could have been in that position where something seemed benign at the time, but as time goes on and again these layers of everything uh happening you think to myself yourself oh i should have taken that more seriously people can relate to that so uh, i think that's very damning for the defense mm -hmm. she seemed very thoughtful i mean to me she came off very authentic like she was bothered and when she used the word appreciate that she didn't appreciate 
what she knew at the time and felt, she said she felt irresponsible. I mean, to me, I felt like she conveyed a lot of authenticity in that. Is she a perfect witness? No. Should she have, con you know, come forward sooner? Ideally, yes. But I felt like she was able to explain it away pretty well. And then with the, the kind of the catalyst being the, the awful, awful killing of Morris Black and the dismembering, um, when she said it frightened her so much so that that kind of brought everything together. Um, Josh, uh, final word here, and I know we have to say goodbye to you at the top. Um, do you think that would make sense to the jury, the way she explained that, that, okay, now yeah. I understand the gravity of what, what I know? Yeah, and, and I, as, as both you and Marie alluded to, that is the emotional water that's getting carried. The jury loves Lorraine Newman. There was no reason to doubt her testimony the issue for the state then becomes that her testimony isn't necessarily beyond a reasonable doubt, and it's created a bunch of new opportunities for the defense to make hay out of stuff that wasn't in this trial before. So I, I love her. She's powerful. Might have hurt uh, the state's case. Agreed. Josh Schiffer, always great having you on the program. Thank you so much for lending Thank us you. your insight and expertise today. We're going to say goodbye to you, but Marie Napoli is going to stay with us into our next hour, and we sure hope that you will do the same. We're going to squeeze in a quick...